Mousetronaut Goes to Mars by astronaut Mark Kelly, illustrated by C.F. Payne. The Galaxy rocket was just one week away from launching. It would be the first human mission to Mars. Even though Mars was Earth's neighbor, the astronauts would need to travel more than 35 million miles to get there. And Meteor, the Mousetronaut, could not wait to go. The astronauts had been training for two years for this trip. Meteor watched everything they did. Each day, he looked over the astronaut's shoulder as they studied, sat under the table and listened while they ate, and kept a notebook of the flight plan and procedures. Meteor was certain that he'd be going to Mars too. He might not be the biggest astronaut, but he had the power of small. He worked hard to stay in shape. He ran with Claudia, he did chin-ups with Claire, he lifted weights with Charlotte. The astronaut, the mousetronaut was ready. But when the names of the crew were called out, Meteor's name wasn't one of them. The mousetronaut was not on the list. NASA must have forgotten about their newest astronaut. There wasn't a chance Meteor was going to miss this exciting trip. He was small. He could hide. He would stow away. Slowly, carefully, he climbed the launch tower. Then, when the NASA security guard wasn't looking, he hid under the commander's seat. He tried to be as quiet as he could, but he was scared. He wasn't scared of the rocket launch. He was scared that he would be caught. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, liftoff! The rocket shook. Meteor was pushed against the floor. He held on tight so he wouldn't slide out from under the seat. There was a lot of vibration, much more than he remembered from his launch on the space shuttle, but not enough to bother the mousetronaut. Nine minutes later, they were in space. Meteor loved the feeling of weightlessness. During the long journey, Meteor stayed hidden. He would only come out for crumbs when the astronauts slept. And as Earth got smaller behind them, the red dot that was Mars grew bigger. After six months, they finally arrived. Meteor had stayed hidden the entire time. When no one was looking, Meteor peeked through the window and saw different shades of red and orange. Mars was nothing like Earth, but it was still beautiful in its own way. Two of them would go down to the surface and explore Mars on foot and with a rover. But there was a problem. Galaxy's commander was talking to Mission Control in Houston. One of the landing craft's engines had failed its test and wouldn't work. The remaining engine wasn't strong enough to carry even one astronaut. There would be no trip to the surface of the Red Planet. They would need to turn around and return to Earth. But the mousetronaut had an idea. He shot out of his hiding place to surprise all of the crew. Meteor, where were you hiding? The commander asked. They were happy to see him, but still sad about their failed mission. Then Meteor floated over to the hatch leading to the landing craft. Hmm, is it possible, said the commander. One rocket engine could work for someone small enough It was decided. 
Meteor the Mousetronaut would be the first to set foot on Mars. As he put on his spacesuit, the crew gave him instructions. You need to gather plenty of rock, samples, said one. And don't forget to bring back some soil, said another. Last of all, they made a tiny American flag and fastened it to a straw. Meteor tied himself to the seat of the landing craft with some string. It launched from the galaxy spacecraft and made its way to the surface of Mars. The Martian landscape was unlike anything Meteor had seen before. There were no plants. There was no water that he could see. But most important, there were no cats. But he got right to work gathering the samples. The last thing he did before reboarding the landing craft was to plant the tiny flag he'd been given. Meteor, you saved the day. The crew cheered him as he returned to the ship. You'll be in the newspaper headlines around the world. The Mousetronaut felt very proud. And we'll make sure you are on the next mission. Six months later, Galaxy Rocket returned to Earth. The astronauts were all welcomed as heroes, but the smallest among them was the biggest hero of all.